floating Arapama Island. I think this one's gonna be the best one. Watch the girl, don't hit the girl. You're right. Money talks out here, bro. So huh? money talks yeah, out here. He's gonna jump in a second. <laughs> Joey Slam. What's going on, Slayers? So I am back from the Amazon. So be prepared for tons of Amazon videos. That is right. Right now, I'm actually currently editing this one, which will be coming out at the same time as you guys see this message, guys. I cannot wait to go ahead and show you all the content. On top of that, there will be a mixture of other videos at the same time of other things that are happening at the house. So without further ado, let me shut up. Welcome to the Amazon. Let's go ahead and see what there is to see. We're heading to the Arapaima Island. This is crazy right now, guys. We are really deep in it right now. This type of environment actually would be ideal if we can see something, you guys can't really see, but I have my polarized lens right now. And this environment looks prime for a turtle that I love and my friends love. And everybody, I'm pretty sure you guys would love it too. It's a mono mono turtle, there's leaves in here. And it's ideal. What was really cool is we didn't see any turtles in the market because it's illegal to sell turtles for food. So that's good news. So for all you turtle lovers out there like me, it's good to see that the turtles aren't being killed, especially those big mono mono turtles. But yeah, it'd be ideal. It's like leaves and perfect environment for these guys right here in the Amazon. So, I mean, anything can come out. We can see anacondas, maybe tape here's a jaguar. A jaguar, probably not. <laughs> but it's possible, Cayman, anything like that. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled, guys. I will turn on the camera if I find something. But if not, I will meet you guys at the Arapaima Island. Floating Arapaima Island. Hold. Nice. Just go ahead, Joey. Just got here, Joey. Oh my God. That one is so red, bro. Look at the size of that. The area of pilots. Can you guys see him? See, Fabo. Can we see anything? Oh, there they are. You can see them now. They're the right. I'm using my my lenses to to pretty much see them. This is ridiculous. They're so big and they're so pretty. Cause they're giants. Bro, huge. They're so big. You don't only see their backs, dude. And what's crazy though, the head is the same size as mine, but the body's trash. Yeah, a hundred percent. Look at that body and the pattern in the pink. Yeah, the heads are identically the same size as yours. What is this? That's for us to fish. Oh, 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 oh. All right, hold on. We have to take turns so we can get the best content. Right. So I'm gonna put my phone down. You're gonna go first, okay? So we just finished doing a whole bunch of stuff for you and feeding this guy. We might be doing something crazy where they go ahead and lift up this pen and we can see the true size of these Arapaimas. Now, we got intel that some of those Arapaimas are giants. There's 40 Arapaimas in a three, was it six meters, two meters? Two meters. So two meters six down, foot. six foot down. With this constant river flowing water. That's why these fish get giants. That's why all of us who have their ponds connected to lakes have giant fish. These arapaimas are currently right there. You can't see them. They're massive. He just came up for air. There's so many. There's 40 in here. And there's an amazing store, which we're going to check out right now real quick. Because we have so much stuff to show you guys. It's insane. This is a scale of an arapaima right here that they use for a file. You can file their nails like that, which is crazy absolutely insanely crazy and that's a blowgun that's a that's a blowgun are those and they're piranha teeth right there which is super super dope then moving forward you know what do you think i can go ahead and shoot that thing do you think she'll let us shoot yeah. that blowgun if you buy it I'll, if i buy it i'll buy it i don't know where i'm gonna put this thing though wait all oh, the darts are right here too yeah what do we, we shoot? Leave, we can leave it in a hotel until we come back. Like, we, we ask the guys at the hotel to hold it for us. Okay, that's a possibility. And you put this down? Let's see. Let's go. That's what, that, that means yes? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you hold this for me? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll switch. Wait, hold. Come on. Oh, okay, got it. So this is all handmade, yep. crafted here with materials found on the, in the Amazon. This is nice and Pachiuba. What's the type of wood? Strong wood? Yeah. I'm a dead fortune, eh? It's a type of strong wood. Sounds good to me. So, oh, I can shoot this. Yeah, right there. Right here. Let's see. 
what this mouth can do, baby. I've never had complaints before, so. Wow, good try. That, that was a little light, that was a little light. A little light. Here, we got tight work, we got two more. Let's go ahead. That one sounded better. That sounded better, better, yeah. I think this one's gonna be the best one. Watch the girl, don't hit the girl. You're right. My grouping's pretty good. Nice, nice. Good. Not, not bad. Not bad. So if I had, if I shot it the first time, whatever I shot, definitely would have got it again. This one was terrible. <laughs> but this is really cool. We might actually have to buy this. Just for fun. Or I don't think, we can't take too much stuff on the plane, right? No. No, we're going to be focused on a lot of fishing and using the environment to pretty much sustain ourselves out there. So I want to save that. This is cool. You stole on your channel the biggest air pharma scale, so I'm sad about that. But I'm the air primer guy. I'm taking one of these two because this is insane. Here, Jordan, so take good. one for you, you Jordan. Yes, it's the it's, it's okay. the group. Something's I'm doing my nails. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right there. Oh yeah, it actually works. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty crazy, <laughs> dude. So these guys are gonna get ready to pull up this huge. They're waiting. Yeah, they're waiting for you to feed. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's feed them right now. Can I put this around where I can keep it? Let's yeah. Put it back. Just put it back. You gonna take it? Yeah. I mean, okay. I want it. That thing's so cool. Okay, ele ele vai levar esses dois por agora. Hey, I'm going to change for a natural one. Good call, Junior. Good call. Appreciate it, Junior. You're the man. By the way, Junior is the reason why we're doing this. He's never been here, but he's been hey, putting it all together. I've been telling him to start his channel, bro. He does a lot of fishing, he so does. we're going to have to push him to make his own it's, channel. It's Brazilian. Brazilian. Brazilian channel. A Brazilian channel would be the same. So, first of all, before we go, another thing I want to show you. It's a baby bow and arrow that I almost broke, but you can actually use this. I think this one's not the hunt. I think the ones inside are tough. Yeah, the big ones. This one's a small, and I think this is just like a souvenir type of deal. Yeah. But let's see if I can try to yank an arrow on it. Actually, feel the force of these things are really big, bro. Bro. These things are over six feet. And they're fat. Fat but fish. We're also really big, so we can take care of it. All right. So let's let's see. Look at the size of this meat stick right here. I like the knot that they make. They make like the perfect knot to hold it. Dude. And they've raised these arapaimas here? No, they bought it from a farm. They bought, no, they bought yeah, like a, farm, a foot. Yeah. Foot, and then they raised them. All right, cool. So let's see what happens. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fast. That, that was, was so quick. Cool. I was looking for the arapaima. It got me so quick. Bro, you got you to gotta tease him a oh, little no, bit. I was trying to. I didn't know he was right there. They're like $40 a fish, so don't I mess around. Know, you better go broke out here. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's try it this time. You wait, wait till you see them first. All right, I got them right here. You guys, oh. Oh yeah, that's a monster a right there. This thing is a giant, you can't really see it. Yeah, you can see Hold it, go. On. I'm gonna put it in slow motion. Here comes the bike. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Joey, one more. Last one. Last one, and then we're going to do something crazy. And you said they're going to build up, bring up this pen? Mm hmm This pen. Since we're showing off their place in the It's Money here. talks out here, bro, so huh? money talks yeah, out here. All right, let's see. That one that I hooked up to is a John. He's going to jump in a second. Here he is. <laughs> get him out, get him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. insane. Nothing like it. Nothing There's like before. Nothing like it. There's nothing like it, bro. No. Are you kidding me? Something that big to potentially catch in the wild, which is really hard to do, by the way. No, oh, yeah. Really hard to find, target, locate, and catch, and land in massive air farms. Very tough since they're not really, really. At least we wild. try that real quick here, bro. Dude, you ready to see this thing? Yeah, let's raise it up. Let's raise this, let's raise this thing up. Dude, I am so ready. Look at this. Look, look at his face, bro. He's, He's so here. excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> look at that. Hold. That's smart, bro. This is crazy. Is it a lift up? Now, what's happening here, this is a huge pen where they keep the aeropimas in this pen. And when they're bigger and they need to sell them to make money to pay for everything here, they pick up the air pommes like this instead of jumping in and getting hurt because that could happen. So here we go. We might see some air pommes fly, bro. Just be careful, like for real. <laughs> we might actually see them fly. 
Look at this contraption, it's just wood. Just wood from the Amazon, pulley system. They're putting some serious power. Get in there, boy, use them guns. I'm on vacation. No, no, we're working too, baby. Look how big this thing is. They're so big. Dude, he's all the way down on all fours. That's my favorite one right there, Joey. This thing is a giant. Oh, that's... Markings of that one, that looks completely different. I'm going over there. Over there is a lot cooler. My boys are out here. Look at that. That's beautiful. They're massive. How do you, how do you tell the difference between a male and a female? This guy's a male. This guy's a male. So the, the females will have more color. Got it. On the tail. That makes sense. You're a female. I'm on free. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> this so big, big one here is a big female. Yeah, they're prettier in color, more pink to tail, it seems. Seems like you probably have one of each at your place, I think. Yeah. If that's the case. But it, it looks like two different species, too. Yeah, they're not gold. Dude, this thing is like, it has to be like 30 inches around. It's really thick. These things are massive. So Mine's with these, a little bit smaller than that one. Yeah. This one is a giant. Can't that wait. thing's a toad. My question is... Look at those guys. They sell this when they get too big. Is this vendor is grande para para comer or é só fica aqui para? Não, tirando licença, é só pro turismo mesmo. Ah, não, just for just for them. Oh, that's awesome. So actually, I was wrong. And these guys stay forever, so you guys can come visit the Arapaima Island in the middle of the freaking Amazon, guys. This is epic. Um, I'm gonna walk over here so real get, quick ready to and check out the store. There are a couple things that I was looking at while I was filming for Rod. Look at these red belly piranhas. These statues right here. These are pretty much fish mounts that have been dried and cured. And it seems like they put like a lacquer on it. I love this, I would love to take it, but it will definitely get damaged right now in travel, which would sucks. They have cool little things that these animals these little guys sound exactly what they look like. It's supposed to be a frog noise. They have little whistles. Now, what I was looking at were these knives. These knives are made of fish and materials that are found here in the Amazon. Like, look at this ripsaw catfish right here. Look at that. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff right here. Again, more fish mounts, which is awesome. And then my boy Sandra, what's up, baby? What to do, baby? And then this is what I'm looking at right here, guys. I am 100% taking one of these we need a knife and i want nothing but the coolest knife so you have a piranha head on it then you have piranha teeth then you have snake bones you have goat fur and you have a freaking serious sharp knife that has been handcrafted here with the materials in the amazon this is not from the amazon but definitely to do something cool I'm trying to, I like this one just because it shows more character, but I'm thinking we should go with uh, uh, a little bit more natural. I'm not too sure, she's making a little noise. See, that's the frog noise I was telling you about. <coughs> I think we're gonna go something like this. I actually like this one. Let's see the condition of the piranha. I want as many eyes as possible and a good mouth and good teeth. Yeah, this is it right here. It's perfect teeth, perfect mouth, perfect bones. We're taking this guy right now. Bro, how, how much are they selling these things for, bro? 2,000 Brazilian money, which is like $500 money. $500 for something that makes that type of noise and has that much fun around your tank. For something that you can already breed. These are ready to breed. These are ready to breed? And once they, what happens, they're gonna take them to a different location, get them to breed, get different ones and do it again. And it's just reoccurring. Because they're poached so hard in the wild, that's right. what they're doing. But these are all farm raised, but listen, Farm raised with this water, they're not farm raised. You exactly, I mean? they're so wild they're animals. Like wild, yeah. yeah, it's constant moving river water, constantly changing, and the environment does the rest for them. Look at all the plants that can suck up all the issues, uh, all the nitrates and nitrites and everything like all that. All the issues, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the issues. <laughs> well, Slayers, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was crazy, 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 crazy. Day one, looks like it may not be over or it could be over. Stay tuned, subscribe. Enjoying my journey through the Amazon with predatory fins, and we did feeding arapaimas at an arapaima island, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Love you guys, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Booyah.